Hello everyone. Today we're going to make a culture gym using these three images. At the end we'll end up with this. To pull this off, I'm going to focus on creating consistent highlights and shadows on the images, matching the perspective, and having them all shame the same general color and tone. Let's get started. For this composition, I'm going to make one that is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. And I'm going to keep the resolution at 300 and hit create. Now off screen, I'm dragging my image of the earth and I just dragged it onto the canvas. I'm going to hit return on the keyboard to tell it I'm done placing. And I'm going to tell it to rasterize the image as well. Rasterizing the image is going to allow me to use tools like the brush later on when I'm editing. Just like the earth, I'm going to drag and drop a picture of the surgical mask onto the canvas and hit return to place it. And then I'm going to work on getting rid of the white background using the quick selection tool. I'm going to click and drag so that it selects all of the white in the image. And to refine the selection, I'm going to click select and mask at the top. I'm going to hit invert so that the surgical mask is selected and the white is going to be removed. Then I'm going to adjust the smooth slider so I get a nice smooth edge on my selection. And finally, I'm going to choke the edge a little bit on the inside so I don't have an, a halo of white around the mask. Finally, I'm going to select uh, for the output, I'm going to select layer mask and finally hit OK. Now I need to work on manipulating the shape of the mask so that it looks like it's being wrapped around the earth. So I'm going to make sure that the image part of the layer is selected and I'm going to position it where I'd like. And to distort the corners, I'm going to hold command on the arrow. Whoops. Hold command so the arrow turns white, and now I can independently drag that corner to begin warping the image. I'm happy with the placement of the mask, but I want to erase some of the portion of the mask on the right side here. So I'm going to activate the pen tool and begin drawing a selection around the portion I want to remove. To draw this, I'm just clicking to add an endpoint and click and drag to give it a curve. Make sure you come back to your first point and click on it to close the path, then right click anywhere on the path and select make selection. I'm going to leave that one pixel feather and hit OK. And now with the mask portion of the layer selected, I'm going to activate the brush tool. Make sure black is selected at my as my color so that it will hide that portion of the image. And you'll see as I brush away, it looks like it is erasing. This is a good non-destructive way of editing because if I wanted to bring it back, I could make white the color, brush back, and it will reveal everything. Hit that arrow again one more time to switch the color back to be black, brush over everything, and then once you are done, hit Command D to erase the selection, and do some touch ups with your brush tool to get rid of that tiny edge our selection missed. Now I want to add some shadows to the surgical mask to mimic the one on the earth behind it. To do that, I'm going to use the burn tool and with our, whoops, I forgot to rasterize it. And with the image portion of the surgical mask layer selected, I'm gonna adjust the brush size of that dodge tool so that it has a nice soft edge. And I'm just going to slowly and gradually brush on the outside. And you can see as that mask is getting darker, it's giving it a more natural shadow than it would if I tried to paint on top of it with a black brush. And I think I'm going to call that good. Oop, that was a little too much. Command Z to undo once or twice, and I'm happy with that. Now it's time for the dollar sign. So I'm going to drag and drop that one like the others, hit return to place it. And to quickly get rid of the white in the image, I'm going to go to the blend modes and select multiply. This is a really helpful blend mode if you wanted to get rid of all of the white in an image. And if you look closely, you can see in the green, it also is showing some of that texture from the surgical mask too so it's giving it that printed on effect that I'm going for. Now to finish up this layer I'm going to grab the corners like I did for the surgical mask and hold command so I get the white arrow and I can independently move those corners and I'm just going to warp this logo a little bit to kind of match the angle of the surgical mask. 
And I think that looks good, so I'm going to hit return. I'm also going to bring in a grunge texture to kind of just give it a gnarlier looking feel to it. So I'm going to drag that in and scale it up. And great, that looks gross. So now I'm going to select that layer and scroll through a couple of blend modes until I find one that I think looks good. Uh, yeah, I think... Wait... Yeah, I think that one will work. Now I don't like how some of the grunge is overlaying with the earth, so I'm going to add a mask to it quickly and go with my brush tool. Where'd it go? There it is. And I'm going to scale up the size of this brush and I'm just going to hide some of the grunge texture from the earth because I spent all that time making it. I want it to stand out and not look all gnarly, just the edge. And finally, I'm going to add a LUT adjustment layer to the top of this just to change the overall tone of the composition. Uh, that one isn't going to do it. How about futuristic bleak? Yeah, there we go. So with that, I think I'm going to call this composition done. Thanks for watching this tutorial and be sure to check out our playlist that covers each of these tools in depth.